Pennsylvania, counties in our area and the center part of the state are in need of a rainstorm. Yeah, the DEP putting some of those areas under a drought watch. Royce Jones is live now from one area particularly hard hit. Royce. First, we are in the middle of a desolate field away from all human civilization, so no mask. We're live in Butler County where the drought has been going for months. Miles of fields are dead and dried up. The emergency management director says rainfall is six to nine inches below average right now. This summer, rainfall in Butler County has been short and sporadic. A shower this afternoon lasted just 10 to 15 minutes, barely a drop in the bucket. A good soaking rain, so to speak, that we, we would like to see. At this cornfield in Sarver, you can see the impact that this drought is having. Take a look at this stock of corn right here. The leaves have dried and turned yellow. They're starting to curl under all the way down to the soil, dry and calling for some much needed rain. Burn bans are in effect in Butler County at the discretion of each township. It's just not worth the risk. It's, it's really not worth the risk. There's been a series of brush fires reported in Butler, and burning only adds to the threat, especially on windy days like today, where experts say a small spark can fly up to 100 yards away and potentially cause a disaster. You're going to need your local fire departments to come out and help bail you out because it's not going to stay contained. It's also recommended county residents can serve water during the drought and prevent strain on supply particularly those that are in the rural areas that, that don't have municipal water but have a well, perhaps. The state DEP says Armstrong, Fayette, and Indiana counties are also under a drought watch. Now, before you even think about burning, emergency management says call your local municipality to make sure there is no burn ban. You could be fined. Reporting live in Butler County, I'm Royce Jones, KDKA News.